Skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates, and I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about tricks. You, your skating, and doing tricks. We got to talk about this today. Today's video is brought to you by pigeonskates.com. If you go to pigeonskates.com, they can get you everything you need, including skates, plates, wheels, all sorts of accessories, apparel, really just everything you need for skating. If you go to them, they will help you. You tell them Dirty sent you. Use my promo code D-I-R-T-Y with a big old dollar sign. That'll save you some money. All right, skaters, I truly believe that today's topic is very timely. Get comfortable. Let's just sit through this video and let's talk about doing tricks. Specifically, I got an email. I will not name the person who sent me this email because I didn't ask her if I could. But I did respond to her email because I thought it was so important. She wrote to me and said that she had been skating and that she was trying to do things where she was spinning on her toes and uh, doing all sorts of transitions and all different kinds of tricks and that she kept falling on her lower back and giving herself a whiplash. And I was like, what? Time out, time out. When I wrote back to her, I said, listen, please do not be offended by the advice I'm going to give you now. I want you to have a long and beautiful and fun and an amazing career or experience or journey in roller skating, okay? Part of this does not include you getting whiplash, okay? This is not normal. I urged her to please, number one, just go to the beginning. Start skating forward and skate forward only till forward skating becomes something that is so zen and so easy for you that you're just comfortable with it from the inside out. Then work on your transitions, your forward skating to a backwards transition and get that down so smooth like butter and then work on your backward skating. You're gonna go forward, you're gonna transition, you're gonna skate backwards. And I want you to get that to a point where it is so incredibly smooth that when other people watch you, they can feel what, you're, what you feel, the, the, the emotion and, and, the, and, and the movement of it. It's enjoyable for not only you to execute it, but for others to watch it. What I really think is happening in our culture today is we are focusing on the immediate gratification of, I learned something new, I got a new trick. I'm gonna take a video of it and I'm gonna put it on social media and see how many people like it. I understand this. I don't want to discourage you from learning new things. I don't want to discourage you from trying new things, for taking a risk, for really going for it, for being creative and really propelling our sport into many different ways. I don't want to discourage you from doing any of this at all. But listen, you have got to do a little bit of risk assessment particularly if you're a little bit older. You have to say, have I done the work leading up to this? Have I done the work? Is this a natural organic outgrowth of the skills that I already possess, of the skills that I've already worked on, the skills that are already innate? When you are chasing tricks, what ends up happening is that your tricks become one-offs. It's like, I can do this, 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 but there's nothing naturally bringing all of those skills together. There's nothing tying it together. When I teach, I say, okay, we're going to learn posture, and then we're gonna learn how to skate forward, then we're gonna learn how to transition, then we're gonna skate backwards, now we're gonna do some spinning, now we're gonna do some jumping, and I'm always having you combo these things together so that you understand how one movement flows into another. Even the word trick, when we use the word trick, 
it's really indicative of a one-off thing that kind of spontaneously happens. I did this little trick here, I did a little trick here, I did a little trick here. When skating, it is essence is this expression of self from the inside out. When you see someone who's been skating for a long time, who skates really well, more often than not in your mind, you'll say, Heck, they're so smooth. How are they so smooth? Because they have been working for a very long time on some of the most essential skating skills. I don't like it when people call them basics. Oftentimes I get comments on my channel or other uh, forms of social media where people will say, Dirty Deborah Harry's really good at teaching beginners. I love it. I mean, I'm gonna be like thumbs up on that. Thank you very much. I am good at teaching beginners. What I'm actually really good at though is teaching essential skating skills because that is what I believe in. And I have seen skaters develop quite quickly due to their desire to get really good, but their focus was not on tricks. Their focus was skating forward powerfully, doing transitions in both directions skating backwards using the same amount of time, pressure, and force on each foot. I have seen skaters become incredible after six months. The difference when I see them skate at the rink is there's a bit of a, I don't want to say a physical head down, but a blocking out of everything that's going on around them. And there's a lot going on here, a lot of people. They are totally focused on an element of skating, whether that's forward, backwards, transitions, etc. They are not focused on a piece of skating, a tiny little trick that they want to nail. They're not even taking video of it. Can you imagine? Could you imagine working on something and just being like, how about I just don't take a video of it? How about I just wait? I don't want to discourage you from taking videos though. It's fun, right? And when you, you want to see your progress, which is a great thing. Sometimes you just want to show your friends what you looked at. Sometimes you unlock a trick and you're so excited. I don't want to take that away from you. But when I got this email, of this woman saying that she was falling on her lower back, giving herself whiplash, the reason it resonated so much for me was that's not the first time I've gotten that email. I mean, the whiplash was kind of a, that was, that was the hook on that email. I have gotten so many comments, so many emails where people are trying things and saying, look, I was trying this trick and I really hurt myself. For you, I don't want your love of skating and this newfound hobby to be something that is taken away from you because we're skipping some of the learning process. I want you to have respect for the process. That starts with having respect for yourself as a student. Take it slow. Take it step by step. This is why I love that movie, the original, and I'll say it again, Karate Kid with the wax on, the wax off, okay? I love it. I love how Danielson wasn't allowed to do tricks. He had to wade through all the time. He had to put in the effort. He had to suffer a little bit. I never want you to think that your struggle and learning how to skate is bad. Embrace the struggle. The struggle is good for you, not only here on the floor, but good for you in life. As you get through these different struggles and you start growing organically as a skater and you get better and better and better, you will find that your life gets better and better and better. You're able to handle all sorts of difficulties and challenges better because you've done it. You've worked it out physically here on the floor or at the skate park or outdoors or derby or wherever it is you're skating, skating session. So please, if I can just leave you with this, if you are a skater who just focuses and says, all right, all right, Look, I'm done trick chasing, okay? I'm just gonna focus on skating forward really, really well. 
then I'll work on transitions, then I'll work on backwards, then I'll work on spinning, then I'll work on some jumping. I promise you, you will be in skating for a lifetime. But if you chase tricks, if you say to me, I just wanna learn how to spin on my toes, but you can't skate backwards, it will always be a problem and you will never be a full skater. You will never be able to present to the world who you really are. You won't reach your potential if you chase tricks. So please, I don't wanna nag you. I want you to be safe and I want you to have fun and I want you to have the full experience that roller skating is but I need you to take it seriously in this way. And if you do, you will have a much more deep enjoyment of skating. It will literally become a part of you, not something that you're continually battling, okay? So skaters, if you made it this long in this video, I applaud you because a lot of this is mindset. A lot of it is saying, I'm willing to spend my time on something I value I value getting better as a skater because I know what it will do for me in the long term. And I value the idea that the fundamentals and essentials in skating are of utmost importance. I promise you, you'll get to your tricks. You'll get there. They will be a natural outgrowth of the practice you have done on the essential skating skills. They will be much easier for you to accomplish if you spend your time on your essential skating skills. And I just leave you with this last other thing. Please stop being so hard on yourself. There is no rush for you to get these things done. I gotta do this, then I gotta do that. Da, da, da. No, there's no to-do list in skating. You don't even know where this whole thing is gonna take you, okay? Just go with it naturally. Stop trying to make it something like work. Goals, mm -mm -mm. show up. Relax, put your skating on. Roller skating is not the same as other sports. It is a true expression of self. It's part art, part sport. Bring your whole self to it as honest and generous as you can. And I promise if you take your time and practice, you will be great, okay? All right, skaters, please, if you have any comments about this, please feel free to write them in the comment section. You can always email me, you can DM me. I do my very best to reach out and reach back to all of you. All right, skaters, I've gotta go and I'm sure you do too. So I'll leave you with this, go practice.